Current IBC requirements, that's the International Building Code, require that decks be independent structures. This is an older deck, it's seven years old. So it's literally lag bolted to the house on one side and it has supports on the other side. So in order to overlay that with our Blue 45 system, we're gonna require additional supports. So there are companies out there, there's some new technology out there where we can put in additional supports and even have access to these smaller backyards. You ready, JF? Come on in. The great part of this post-tech technology, not only is this a galvanized pipe, but it's foam filled. So no moisture from the environment can enter and expand and burst our pipe. These are gonna be the new independent structures for our deck. So instead of having to excavate that area, put in a big foot in a sauna tube and fill it with concrete, we can auger these into the earth and we'll be ready to go. JF, you ready? Here you go. And once I install my pedestals, I can make any minor adjustments and I'm gonna have a great deck. Our intention was work with the existing structure, put in these additional deck posts, right, to support and make this an independent structure. What did we find? Moisture, damage, rot. So we pulled it apart, making an independent structure. Then we moved to the header board that's mounted to the house. We're expecting to find these lag bolts and washers holding this to the structure, which was really holding up more than 50% of my deck. What do I find in its place? Deck screws, 36 of them, instead of the six lag bolts that should have been here. We're gonna pull this off, we're gonna weatherproof it, and we're gonna build this structure the way it should have been built. With all the wood repaired on our deck, we're ready to make the final cut on our post-tech technology post, we're gonna have our beam, which is gonna be the final independent support for this deck installed. So we cut this, install our, our beam, and we're ready to go. Fire it up.